So we're going to be talking about school discos and how you can make them a little bit more eco-friendly. Now, sometimes we're not aiming for perfection. We're aiming to reduce the carbon footprint, to reduce the plastic, perhaps. So here are some of the suggestions. Rather than selling the single-use plastic bottles or um, of, of juice, squash or Capri Suns or anything like that, have reusable cups that can be washed um, and have a jug of juice and they pay for that. Or you can ask them to bring their own water bottles, make sure they're named, um, and they pay um, an amount to top up their water bottle with the ready-made squash. You can do things like um, pre-filled bags of sweets. So you could get the, the sweets from, like you could bulk buy them obviously, in, so the bags are less plastic rather than lots of individual ones. Or you could go to a refill shop, buy loads and then just put them in little paper bags there. But I would recommend anything that you're using, like even paper bags, even paper is still single use if, um, if we're not recycling it properly. So if you are using paper bags, that's brilliant it's you know you know likely to be better than plastic single use but ideally you want to better collect that back recycle the paper or use it for the school compost bin if they have one other things to think about um with sweets you could obviously sell sweets chocolate bars for example but you might want to think about what your um goals are within your school with these eco goals what are the school council aiming towards are they making pledges to reduce plastic in which case you might want to do that something like smarties that all come in paper bags now or if overall ethics is important then smarties aren't great because i think they're owned by nestle so you might want to just have some chocolate bars with plastic wrappers and then you collect the um chocolate wrappers or crisp packets for example for the TerraCycle scheme you could link with your nearest TerraCycle scheme and say that you want to collect all of them from the school um, disco and, and take them to the TerraCycle point at some point after the event. The other thing you could do is look at things like um, rather than having like plastic kind of toys that are sold or flashing lights or those I don't know what they're called, those things that like light up for a couple of hours and then the next day they're just useless junk. Um, you could just do things like you could get um, a face painter. There are like vegan eco face painters around. But even if not, you could have a face painter come. Um, again, if you're trying to reduce plastic in your school, you could ask them not to use the glitter that is sometimes used with face painting. You could do things like um, have like tattoos like little obviously um stick on tattoos it's not like it's not gonna eliminate all plastic because it'll come with it'll come in little plastic packaging but you are limiting it you are reducing it and sometimes we have to aim um not for perfection but just progress the other thing is about decorating the hall how are you going to decorate the hall let's try and avoid balloons let's think of alternatives could the kids make some paper chains out of scrap paper they've got left over could you ask the kids to bring in scrap paper from home obviously you're looking at reusing the resources that you've already got rather than going out and buying loads more stuff or maybe the kids could have an art, art project that we can look at how else they could make decorations maybe they could make posters to advertise the event for example so there's a few ideas. Please do let us know if you've got other ideas and I can update the video if I have more to add.